Hello YouTube, it's been a while hasn't it? I think it's been over a year since I've uploaded on here. No excuse really, just just awful at doing videos like this. Um, there's not a lot to film on the farm as regards drilling or planting, whatever you want to call it, as we finished. That only took about 10 days. Doesn't take us very long anymore uh, with the direct drill. It's soon over and plus it's been, if you live in the UK, or I guess most of Europe, it's been a very easy harvest and planting season. Unless you're still, unless you're still going, uh, it has started raining, hasn't it? And I guess it is turning a bit sloppy out there now. So I should imagine the time drills are becoming very, very favorite right now. But today, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. If you follow my Instagram, you will know I have a money pit, AKA a Land Rover Defender. I really could have filmed a whole YouTube series on what I've done to this because it's come quite a long way from the quarry truck it used to be. I, I tried fil filming a few videos and what I found was I like to do everything perfect and you'd start filming and then I'd realise that something else needed doing and it just seemed to drag on and on so I, I never filmed any of it. Uh, but today I have a couple of things I want to do with it. The bonnet is very tinny. Uh, it's got sound insulation all in the cab, all along the rear tub, and where else has it got it? In the front part of the roof and my doors. So it's like... You can see the difference. So what I'm going to do today is you can buy pre-cut patches for the bonnet. I got that from Jigs, Jigs, JGS, 4x4, however you want to say it. So I'm going to open that in a minute and see if all the pieces are there. And I've got a new steering damper, uh, Bill Stein, Bill Steen, I don't know how you pronounce these things, to go on the, um, yeah, steering damper. So I thought, it's a lovely warm October day, having very unseasonably warm weather. So I thought it'd be a good day to uh, film a YouTube video. Here's the uh, said items to put on. The sound deadening is in there. And here's the steering damper. Typical unboxing. Super difficult to do with one hand. Go on for, go on for the, to put a dent in the roof, cool. Uh, go for the Bilstein Advance flavor this time. See what that's like. Heard lots of good things. So we'll see. See if it makes its handling any less wayward. I don't think a damper can make it handle any better than what it currently does. I think there's so many worn bushes elsewhere. I've got a lot more to do, but hopefully, hopefully that goes some way. And then, can I see in there? Can we get in there without? I need a knife. Okay, a knife later, and you got some instructions. And basically, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Hmm, okay. It's not how I expected it. I, I thought the bits would be all in bits, but it's um, like a, you know, airfix kit. It's all sort of attached, but it just, just break the edge and it all peels away. So, happy days. And then pop that on a bonnet when it's clean. And I'm really hoping that it's going to be an easy video. I mean, what can go wrong? The steering damper is two bolts and the bonnet is just, I've got to clean it and stick it on. I haven't got my sound deadening roller because some reprobate that I know has borrowed that and not given it back. Um, but I can stick it on and do that at a later date just to make sure it doesn't fall off and get a piece of soundproofing in my auxiliary belt, something like that. But yeah, let's step to it. I think first of all, hang on, where is it? Close your eyes, that always helps, doesn't it? There you go. It's gonna need, I don't know if you can even see in there. I guess it's too dark, but that's very dirty. Um, so I'm gonna need to clean that. I might as well. Tell me you need a haircut, Bart. Tell me you need a haircut when you're eating it. Um, 
yeah, the whole thing could do with a wash, really. It's, it's filthy. It's filthy. Can't have that. You know what I'm like about being clean. So, first of all, we'll wash it. Stay there. Sit. Stay. Stay. I never mentioned that I really like washing things. I think now we should play it. Hang on. What's going on here? I think we should play everyone's favourite game. If you've got a Land Rover, you can play this game. How much water is in the cabin? Actually, hmm. there's a drip there from some, oh, it's, it's wet there. Where'd that come from? There, soaking wet in there, cool. How are we down here? I'm all right in there. Is that a drip in there? No. Let's go on to the other side. get in the shop. What about in here? Oh it's wet in there. Oh she's wet in there. It's very wet down there. Oh, and all here look. Cool. And there. Oh it's come from here look. Amazing. Good oh. What about this side? Yeah there's water in there. Oh yeah it's there. Them's, that's, that's like a tub seal isn't it? Around there. Amazing. What about the back? The back's usually the best place. Here. Oh, it's so dark in here, you'll never see. Yeah, there's, there's a puddle. There's a puddle down there. About this side. I think this side stays pretty dry. Yeah. It's just this side. Oh, you gotta love a Land Rover. One thing I haven't realised realizing when I'm washing it because I've got the nugget stuff sealed airbox and I don't run a snorkel because I have no interest in flooding and, and creating even more problems for myself it creates problems anyway let alone doing that in there I don't know if you can see the water sits in there which is great so when I start it it'll just drag all the water through eventually and uh, get some nice blue smoke so really if I'm not planning on going through any deep water I ought to drill some holes in there so the rainwater and stuff goes because I'm just gonna create more problems for myself, aren't I? And when I was washing it, I did realise as I was jet the ECU's there, isn't it? Brilliant. Hopefully Land Rover made it splash proof. We'll see. Let's have a let's have a butchers. See if it still starts up. So that's it, cleaned with panel prep, best as I can, so hopefully it's got the best chance of sticking to it now and not falling off and ending up in there causing me problems because that's, that's my look. So this is piece one, 
just, just press it out and it all comes out and that is for passenger side so it should go so <laughs> that in that picture says it goes there obviously doesn't does it goes there am I being thick that is the driver's side all right piece one on the sheet there piece one that looks to me like the passenger side. Okay, so okay, so use these instructions very. Um, take them with a pinch of salt, shall we say? Let's see if we can just do it, do it once, because I don't want to do this again. with my roller, Matt. Class underscore Matt. Yeah, go, go follow him and give him some abuse. But that's pretty much. I think that's pretty much how it's gonna go. Debatable what difference it will really make, but this video, if I don't, it should be titled, you can't polish a turd. We'll see. Have you seen this stupid dog barking at the jet washer? Giving the jet wash reviews. No, look at you. Let's let him see you. Look at how wet you are and crispy. Wet and crispy all at the same time. You're in. You're in. So if it doesn't fit the first time, I don't want to peel it all off because I've got enough paint peel on this thing. I don't need any more. Here, you can remember how noisy it was and rattly, and now, just with two bits, makes a hell of a difference. Wow, so that's the aftermath, and here is the result. I'm pretty happy with that to be fair. Pretty much got everything, everything you can. It's quite a good kit. Everything's there, it's all cut out nice, and Seems to have made quite a difference. I don't know what a little me. I don't know what it will mean for a drive, but we'll we'll find out. We'll take it for a spin, and we'll see if I can tell any noticeable difference. It is not a five-minute job. That is, what's the time now? What's the time? Wow, it's five o'clock. I started at half two. Uh, I have been dicking around a little bit, but that's pretty. That's a that's a big job. Well, fiddly. Camera can't keep up. Very fiddly job. And I was thinking I'd do the damper now. I can't do the damper because what I realised is I ordered some stainless steel hardware to do one end. Because if you're taking it, if you're taking a bolt off on a Land Rover. You might as well replace it with stainless steel. That's what I've tried to do on everything. Well, what safely, because I know stainless isn't quite as strong as the uh, high tensile, but everywhere I can safely, it's got stainless steel on it now. So I'll have to revisit the damper on another day. Right, so you're gonna have to uh, pretend that this is the same day as it was on the last clip. 
but it's actually a week later because I was waiting for this a stainless steel bolt what I was hoping for out of this shock which it's probably got it probably needs more than a shock to achieve okay you're taking that okay it's gonna get chewed up to bits um, when I hit like a pothole or a dip in the road you will fire into the dip in the road and then it'll spit you back out and you try and go into the middle of the road or vice versa it'll spit you into the into the ditch um, whether there's something else going on I've had all the swivels done and the bearings the bushings aren't that bad in the like hockey sticks wheel bearings are good so I just wonder if they seem to rave about this damper the built in advance so I'm wondering if it will have the desired effect so uh, let's stick it on and find out not entirely sure the best way a film taking a steering damper off what is it? Six. It's a five. I should imagine it's too dark to even see what I'm doing right now, so you just have to imagine that I'm I'm doing a nut. I'm hoping I can do it without taking the steering guard off, which it does look possible to be fair. Oh, my hat's gone. Oh, my hat's gone. <laughs> Well, that's super awkward. Yeah, that is mega awkward. Let me try something different. Put me out back on. My hair's going to be in the dirt. Yeah, great, that's just what I need. Bit of barking, oh yeah. I really need that bit of stick. That'll help me no end. Cheers, Tom. There we go. There we go. Oh, that, look. It's not too bad, to be fair. That's the new old one off. Right, that is the best way around this. And there. when you get a load of shit in your eyes. Okay, that's that bit. Which I think is like this. Somebody in the comments will probably be like, no, oh my God, that is wrong. To get max flex out of your Land Rover, you must do it like this. I don't know what the torque settings are for this. It wasn't overly tight. This is going to be interesting. The one I took off was 13 mil and 17. Now it is 17 mil and 15. 
just to confuse anybody in the future. So that is on. Yeah, the truck was clean in the last video. I've used it since then. Well, while we're here, take note, this is, I got this in 2019, or was it early 2020? And it's done straw to Florida. It's had numerous bashes around that and it's still, It looks brand new. ORE for the win. So we'll go and take it for a drive in a second and we'll, there's one bit of road in particular where it tries to always kill me. So I'll, I'll go to there and see if the damper's done anything at all and see if we can tell the difference with the uh, sound deadening. If the bonnet doesn't rattle, something else will. And I've got two other bits as well I want to put on. I'll show you them in a second. But one thing I have noticed, the advanced damper was took no effort, took no effort at all to um, compress. Whereas this, it gives a bit of resistance and you have to really push. It's quite stiff. So whether that being more supple, I don't know. I don't know anything about suspension to be honest. All I know is when I got it, the shocks and everything that was on it was completely dead and I drove to Wales on basically the springs, no shocks. So putting Fox shocks on it and an anti-roll bar, my God, it's transformed it. So I'm not entirely sure how these go, because it's, I don't even think the early Pumas had, had them on. I think it's, um, I think it's a later, a later add-on. Probably people who are paying silly amounts of money for a bloody Defender or getting mardy why their bulkheads were rotting out, I don't know. Hmm, see. I think that needs... Probably gluing on or some gasket sealer because that is going to shake off there. And as they cost 25 quid, I don't want them to fall off. But you get the idea. I suppose rather than the water going all over there, it'll run, <laughs> run and blow down and just land on it in a different area. Or all, all proper channel and funnel right to the back and really soak the um, bulkhead. So I'll just jam on the other side loads of quarry whatever it stinks it's like ashy bricky I don't know what quarry or where it was from probably toxic waste no my luck and it's probably making me glow in the dark every time I go near this thing but just squeeze that seal in a bit if it's got wire in it it'll just crimp it a bit and then uh, yeah, get some tiger seal or something. Just if, oh, because I really don't want to lose them. Not like 25 quid a pop. What a difference that makes. Oh, I yeah. have Negligible, negligible. I can see what they're driving on at, but... Oh, well. Right. Those are up. Go and see if the... Uh... 
the um, tin foil, the steering damper, make any difference to the driving experience. Right, let's see how this goes. If you could see how you're set up now, balancing on the grab handle, balancing the DSLR on a Gorilla Pod thing, so you might be quite shaky. We'll see. It's definitely quieter in here. Well, is it? Marginally, maybe. seem to be like the worrying speed with the weird diving and steering which is what we're doing now one thing the steering feels lighter just pulling out of the farm then the steering was always quite heavy and I always thought it was the uh, little steering wheel sort of taking away some leverage making it a bit more effort to steer Sometimes it's a bit like a bit of a placebo, it's all in your mind. But it certainly doesn't feel any worse. Need to get to that. Uh, is that camera moved? You probably can't even see me now. It's probably just filming the steering wheel and my mouth or something ridiculous. It's better. You can see more than the roof. Oh, my camera's moved, I can see it. I knew this would be, I knew this would be the case. Oh, well, there you are. Is that better? There we go. This is the bit of road where it always feels like it's gonna try and kill me. You're moving about again. What are you doing? Just sit still. Dogs think I'm talking to them. Bloody love driving this thing. It's terrible but awesome at the same time. I don't know how they have ever managed it. Here we go. There's a bad bit up here. You can't see what's coming, but I can. It's like a slight right and a dip, and, and the Land Rover usually doesn't know what, what to do. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 50. Okay, fair enough. It didn't do it that time. There's another, ple another piece, not piece, at the top of this hill. Uh, one thing while we're waiting to get there, you're moving, you're moving about all over the place again. This isn't remapped, it's got a big intercooler on it and cap delete, uh, DGR delete and all things like that. People with Pumas, is it worth me getting a remap, going to a live or something like that and getting a remap done? Because uh, it, it's quite pokey, I think, for what it is. It seems to spool up from fourth in no, like no revs, no speed, it seems to get going. So I don't know if it's worth it or not. Am I, am I just asking for trouble if I get a remap? Or will I never look back? This final test, this is another bad bit down this road. Pick up some speed down here. And there's a few right lefts and a big long sweep and then it, it always feel very unsafe. But it feels better already. Wow, okay, fair enough. Really good. Okay. It 
60 miles an hour, it feels like 400 miles an hour in a Land Rover. But oh, I'm barely like holding on to the steering wheel, it's tracking nice and straight, not diving about left and right. Happy day. You're moving again. I reckon that's 160 quid well spent. So uh, if you've got a Land Rover and it crashes about in the bumps and you've done most of the other things to it that you can think of, maybe try one of these dampers. It's made my steering 25, 30% lighter. It's like I said, that other damper was quite stiff to compress. So I suppose with your steering wheel, you are doing that left and right. Whereas this seemed a bit more soft. I thought, oh, it's not going to make a difference. It's almost too soft. It feels wrong, but obviously, obviously not. It feels good. This is quite, you can't see, but it's quite, a, it's like a single track, dead bumpy. Whoa, there you go. Um, really weird camber. And it was always a bit scary down here, but it seems good. Yeah, anyway, I'll leave the video there because um, I'm pretty sure you're probably seasick now uh, watching me. But uh, yeah, it's a bit different. Not so much not so much farming, still a bit of a tractor. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe. Hit me up in the comments. Do you want to see some more Land Rover stuff? There's, it's never ending, the uh, maintenance and things I want to do to it. So there's probably be some more videos if... Uh, if you enjoyed this one and uh, yeah see you in the next one